there, it's ML with ML's Words of Wisdom from Wisconsin. And I'm outside right now because this show is going to be a little ML moment, just a little tiny tip on how to make beautiful planters like this one. Look, look. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Can you see it? I can't believe ML did it. You may be saying, ML, how did you do that? Well, let me show you. I'll give you some tips on how to make pretty planters like that. Okay, first of all, you have to have your safety goggles. Safety, 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 very important. One time, I was outside picking tomatoes from my cherry tomato patch, and something just brushed against my eye. I didn't know what it was. And I went inside and my eyeball was all red, right here. Looked like Frankenstein. I said, oh my gosh, I'm ready for Halloween. I don't even need a costume or any makeup, scary stuff, you know, cause I look like a monster. So you don't wanna look like a monster. So wear your safety goggles. The next thing I do is I put on these special rubberized gloves. They're really snug, so you can, they hold in your bracelets in place or your watch so you don't get those dirty and they're kind of rubberized. So they're semi waterproof, but you can feel what you're doing. You can touch things. If you wear like kitchen gloves or stuff like that, let me get in the picture. Um, then it doesn't, they, you can't pick stuff up because you need to be able to handle little stuff like that. Okay, the next thing I do is I get all my equipment and one thing that I've learned, you know, even like a soup spoon will work really well. But if you have a, use a soup spoon in your garden, make it your designated outdoor garden soup spoon. Don't like bring it in and out, maybe put a label on it or something so that you don't, you know, like get confused and contaminate your stoop. Okay. The next thing that I do now, this is the genius moment. This is where I'm like a complete Einstein. Look at this. Look. You get a box and you put your planter in the box and you put some rocks and whatnot. And then when you're ready to plant, you can take the soil. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not advocating any soil, one brand over the other, and just put it in, in the box, in your planter. And if you accidentally spill some all around here or the edges, look at that. If you, you know, oopsie daisy, look, you just go like this. And it all goes in here. And then you can also use this box to scoop up any excess dirt that has fallen out of the planter. Now, I think that's just genius because otherwise you get dirt all over the place. And then you got to get your broom and sweep it all up. But if you keep it all contained in a box, then voila, bingo. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, one of the ways to make these planters, I um, met this really nice lady who taught me about like, it's almost like Ichiban, that Japanese flower arrangement thing, well, um, strategy. One of the things you wanna do is you wanna have a tall plant, a medium plant with a lot of color and interest, and then some trailing plants. And the easy way to remember it is top, pop, and flap. So rip, say it again so that you learn it. Tap, pap, and flap. So that when you look at a, an arrangement, your eye goes from the top to the bottom, almost like a waterfall of color. And this color right here just really pops. Now you can buy each plant individually and put them in like this, or they even sell these little mini planters already halfway made up and that's what I bought at the store and I just put it in and added this to it and, and a couple of little purple flowers and bingo, I'm done. I mean, easy. So you can also use herbs as your trailing flap in an arrangement and that way if you want to get something for a dinner if you're cooking, this is lemon thyme. You can just go out and just pick your arrangement real nice. Now, also, one more tip. You have to make sure that all the plants that you put in a planter are all of the same 
kind. Like they all need sun or they all need shade. If you mix them, some with sun and some with shade, the shade plants will be like, ah, too much sun. And the sun plants will be like, ah, too much shade. You know, if you have it in the shade or in the sun. So if you're going to have an all shade arrangement, then you gotta choose all the plants that like shade. Like for example, you gotta read these little cards they tell you. And it's in English and in Spanish. So it's like, you know, full sun, six hours. And then it says luz, sol, you know. Sol, I think, means um, sun in Spanish. And if, or if you're French, it's soleil. Or Italian, it might be soleil also. And like Sting says, there's a little black spot on the sun today. It's my soul up there. Same thing, soul. So that means sun. So you got to read it and spacing and plant depth and all of this kind of stuff. So these little cards are very informational. So check them out the next time you go. And then also remember these pots, you get so many of them. Oh my gosh, I've got a whole stack. It's like the Leaning Tower of Pisa in my garage with them. Check them to make sure that there's like a little five or what whatever number in a little triangle on the bottom. And then you know you can recycle them. Okay, well, that's all the tip that I have today. I hope you enjoy your flower arrangement. And remember, it's top, pop, and flop. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now.